So today I want to talk about a question from our buddy Clarkson who says, basically I've fallen out of lucid dreaming, I've given up. The cycle consists of picking up interest in lucid dreaming, trying again, usually doing reality checks or setting you know, some kind of intention to lucid dream and then it's not working so then you give up. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason that people have this cycle where you try it for a bit, it doesn't seem to work so you give up. And that's because you're not doing the right things and you're not doing them for long enough. Any new skill, whether it's driving, you know, climbing, playing guitar, will take some kind of practice. You can't learn new skills instantly. As awesome as that would be, that's just not the case. You know, I'm sorry guys, but that's not the case. You can't learn something that quickly. And lucid dreaming is no exception. Most of you watching this have not been building up the self-awareness practices you need. You haven't been meditating enough. Maybe you've done it a bit. And the same with reality checks. Maybe you've done a few reality checks, but maybe you haven't done them with enough mindfulness to actually make them show up in your dreams. <laughs> and to be honest, it could be any number of things that are the reason why you can't lose a dream, but this seems to be really common that people like this guy and many others will uh, get interested in lucid dreaming. You'll be inspired, you'll watch videos and read books, you'll you know, be posting like on Twitter and Reddit about all these cool things you're gonna do. You try and do it, let's say you do reality checks maybe a couple of nights or maybe even a week in a row. Every day for a week you might do like the way back to bed technique, you might do the wild technique and for whatever reason it, it doesn't work. And so then you give up. And that seems to be the cycle that a lot of people are repeating. Well, here's how to break that cycle. Number one, you need to, like with anything else, okay, you need to commit to a certain length of time before you begin. If you just start seeing how it goes, if you just sort of launch into it and you just, yeah, you're kind of trying it out and you're seeing if it works, you're, it's going to fail. You're going to fail because you need to commit to a certain length of time before you begin so that you actually have enough time for it to work. Even when it becomes difficult and you're doing these reality checks and waking up early or whatever your method is uh, and it's difficult, you need to have some kind of reason or motivation to keep going, otherwise you will just give up. And then maybe six months later you'll try again, maybe two years later you'll try again, you're not going to get anywhere with doing, doing it like that. Uh, so commit to doing, in my opinion, one or two months, right? And for that one or two months, you're gonna practice something every day. Every single day for that two months, you'll practice something. And it might be reality checks, it might be that you write down in your journal, you might meditate, okay? You're gonna do something that will try and bring you closer to lucidity every single day for those two months. Commit to doing that before, and then you're much more likely to have some kind of results in that time, okay? Number two, you're not trying the right things. So. A lot of you will focus on the technique, and by technique I mean like the wild, you know, you'll wake up, you'll set your alarm, and yes, that can work, but you're ignoring the big important pieces of the puzzle that many people ignore. The fundamentals, the basics, right, what you're actually building this on. You need to tell or trick your mind to become aware in a dream. So even if you're trying all of the techniques in the world at the right times, that won't work unless you set your intention strongly enough to lucid dream and to actually engage your prospective memory, okay, your memory of, uh, your ability to remember to do something in the future. So in this case, the, your prospective memory would need to remember to do a reality check in the dream. Without that, you're just sort of shooting in the dark, really. I mean, no pun intended. You're literally never gonna get there because you're focused so much on the practical step-by-step -step technique, which is very appealing, you know, it's very interesting and, and uh, it's kind of it's satisfying to think, if I just follow these steps, I'll lucid dream. It's not as simple as that. You need to, and yes, you can follow certain steps, but you need to really focus on the important intention, the intention to actually remember to do a reality check in a dream, to, to actually remember to be aware when you're dreaming. That is the important thing. And that's what techniques like the dialed and the mild are focused on. These are the techniques I would uh, you know, suggest you try. Uh, and then if you want to, you can try things like the way back to bed. And if you're watching this and you have no idea what these techniques are, then the first step would be to watch the other videos on my channel and actually learn them. But once you have learned them, I would suggest that you commit to the time frame, one or two months, focus on those two techniques, the dialed and the mild, and focus on your intention, your, your ability to remember to do something in the future, in this case, a reality check, and then add in all of the other things that people seem to focus on. That should be your last resort. Your last resort should be things like supplements, uh, meditation, audio guided meditations, binaural beat tracks, um, step-by-step -step techniques like the wake back to bed. That should be your last resort, the third step you try, okay? First step, 
commit to a time frame, meditate, write your dreams down, and be self-aware every day. That's the first step. Step number two would be to focus on the dialed and the mild and your, aff your affirmations, your intention, and your perspective memory, reality checks come in at this stage. And then step number three, finally, to add on to those two steps, then you should do other things like I've mentioned. But if you just jump into the third one without the other two being involved, you're gonna be the next story on Reddit where you're just posting something like, I tried to lucid dream, but it's just not working out for me. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel, or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various lucid dream products, articles, techniques, and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.